whatever I'm saying is going to bring me to one conclusion. And this conclusion is that A, that whatever relationship, whomever you connect with and you merge in and whatever connection you have, okay, it's already doomed to fail. It's already designed for failure. A is that everything in the world that appears to be, it's got a duration. None of it is permanent. B, you've already been programmed that everything is fast and it's okay. So you just don't have any patience to go deeper into anything because why go deeper when you can just swipe it and go to the next one? Why work on it? Be patient with it when you have so many choices. And see, you're already damaged and programmed to believe that the love, the romantic love, is coming from outside. It's another place, another person. You have to go get it. You have to accomplish it. And to accomplish that, there is a list of things that you have to check mark. It's a lot of pressure. You have to have a nice body, you have to be fluent, you gotta be a suave, you have to dress like, you gotta have your hair slicked, you have to look good, you have to be smart, you have to have money, you have to have a nice car. It depends where in the world you live. But there is like all these check marks that you have to check in. They all have to be yes. So there's a lot of pressure on that of the stuff you have to have. And when I went deeper inside, I realized that there is only one relationship in, in this life. There's only one relationship. You only have one relationship in your entire life. Only one. Each and every one on this planet only has a one relationship. That's it. And that relationship is to the self. There's only one true relationship. And that relationship is to the self. And that is the only true relationship that exists. Everything else comes and goes. Everything else has a duration. Even to your best friend, to your mother, to your father, to your children. As much as you're connected, as much as you love them, it's got a duration. There's a beginning and there's an end to it. And you don't have to believe what I'm telling you. Look at it. Take a look. Look at your relationships. See what's going on. They come and they go. Especially love relationships. Specifically, love romantic relationships. They come, they go. And it appears that the duration is shorter than before. And a major part of it is that un until you come to this enlightenment, to this awakening, to this realization that Love and acceptance is something you have to recognize within yourself. You have to discover that love is here. 
and it's coming from you. It's your own presence. It's your divine being. It's your connection to God. It's the presence of God within you that you feel love. And until you really discover that within yourself, you're not really free because you're looking for it outside of yourself. Because you've been programmed and brainwashed to project it outside. And it's not your fault, believe me, I'm not pointing finger at you. It took me 30 years to figure that out. And sitting with so many masters and teachers before I came to that realization, I didn't know that. Before I came to that understanding that the love I'm looking for, the romantic love that I want, it's, I have to discover it within myself. I had heard the words, and today you read it in a lot of spiritual books, but that's not the point. You have to get it. You have to understand it. And as you understand it and you start to develop self-love, recognizing your own divinity, recognizing that you are complete after all the noise. If you go beyond the noise and you really dive within yourself, like when we were meditating earlier or when we had our retreat, those moments of like completion, like you're in this place that it is complete. And you're very happy and complete with yourself. Got to recognize. And it may take time. And you may work on it. But at least you're on the right track. Because somebody pointed it out to you. And it makes sense that that relationship, I need to discover it within myself. I have only one relationship, and that is to the self, to the divine self, to the presence of the self here. That's the only relationship that doesn't come and go. Everything else comes and goes. Everything else is an image of this one. But you're not getting it outside because as soon as you try to grab it, it disappears or finally you get to it, but it won't last very long. It changes. Because you haven't really discovered it within yourself. You got to figure it out. You have to recognize it that you by yourself sitting here in your apartment alone in the middle of nowhere or in your house or whatever with no entertainment, you can be okay with yourself and you can just love yourself the way you are not the way you think you should be. Not when your parents told you, be a good boy and eat the spaghetti and the vitamins and we're gonna love you. That's a way you should be. No, you're recognizing the way you are as you are. And you start accepting yourself the way you are, however you are, however you look. wherever you are status-wise in the world, whether you got money or you don't, whether you accomplished or you didn't accomplish, can you accept and love yourself?
and recognize your divine self. Recognize your relationship with your own divine self, your presence, your being. It may take time. Work on it. Recognize it. You're on the right track now because you got the clue. And as you come to that and you start to recognize it and love yourself, then you're going to see reflections in the other world, in the romantic world, your opposite starts getting attracted to you. You're attracted to this completeness, to this wholeness, to this person that has disconnected itself from being needy. The neediness is not just starting slowly disappear. It's an internal thing. It's an inside job. So, Excuse me. Um, as this revolution, revelation starts to happen and you start to recognize that, that your attention is turning inwards into the recognition of your own self, your presence, and you begin to love and accept yourself and recognizing this is the only permanent relationship that exists. And then what happens in that recognition, something shifts in your relationships with others. Because others, basically, they're reflecting back where you're at. It's kind of a reflection. I mean, everything is a reflection. You're not the only one. Everything is mirroring everything constantly because all of it is one. There's no separation in it. So it's a dance that is dancing with itself all the time. Same as your relationship with your guru, with the sat guru, with the sage, the sage. With all these other relationships, they all have durations. They come, they go, they come, they go. They get stronger, they get weaker. So you recognize that in that recognition that there's no permanency in it, except there is one. And in that recognition that this is the only permanent relationship that exists, then something shifts, something changes. Because you're no longer projecting, you have unconditioned, undone what's been done to you for thousands of years generations after generations of being programmed in a certain way. And finally, you've been able to undo that and free yourself from this will, from this maya, that there's only one real relationship, and that's to the self. And of course, you welcome everything else, but you're not projecting on it. You're not looking for it to complete you because you already discovered you're complete. Does it mean that if I've come to that relationship, I can just sit alone with myself for 30 years? No. For example, I'm a kind of person who needs to be around people. I need connection. It depends on how your makeup is. You know, some people are loners. They really enjoy just being alone 
a lot of time. Some people really like being around other people. But what it means is you have transcended this illusion. You have gone beyond the illusion that love and acceptance in a romantic relationship, it has to come from another person to make you complete. You realize that you are complete and cool. If you hook up with somebody and it's there, fantastic. But they're not going to make you complete. You already recognize that. And that's huge. That's a major accomplishment. If you can come to that in this lifetime, you have accomplished a lot. And then from there, we can just keep going, you know, relationship to your parents, your relationship to your children, relationship to your friends, to your boss, to your animals. It just keeps going and going. Connection. I'm not saying those connections, they're not real. But there is one that is above everything else. There is one that doesn't come and go. Recognize that one. Anybody has any questions? Any comments? Anything you want to ask or share? You can either unmute yourself or Write a note on the chat box. Yes, please, Christopher, unmute yourself. Yes, hello and thank you. Um, that was very giving, uh, first of all. And my comment, and I guess my my conclusion uh, from uh, what I've heard you talk about now is that if you have choices and you have uh, decisions to make, also ultimately it's about yourself to make a choice and a decision to be. Uh, in a good relationship with your own self as much as possible. Yes. Yes. Maybe it's very simple to <laughs> just uh, uh, interpret it like that. Um, but to have the awareness all the time uh, in a, any given situation that reminding yourself to uh, be in a good relationship with yourself right yeah when you say that are you including the the mind chatters that their time i mean there the moments you make a mistake or something happen and you hear your mind says you idiot absolutely yeah this are you saying like every moment you're you never hear those words or or you hear those words and you move on. Yeah, um, um, I guess it's both mentally, of course, and uh, um, um, uh, emotionally, of course, right? That 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 we uh, often uh, forget, uh, being unaware of uh, losing uh, focus of uh, the, the 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 love towards oneself and that relationship. Yeah. So so you're not fighting yourself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 